Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Here is, I believe, um, second to last video because then I found one more thing that I wanted to show, but it actually doesn't have anything to do with the listings going in. It would be a future listing, but it's something I'm actually working on and that'll be a really short video. So this is my final journal video of the journals that are going to be in my Etsy shop once I come off vacation mode. So, like I said in my previous video, there are five journals. There are the two traveler's notebook size. There is one soft cover fabric journal, and then there's two um, hardcover journals. So I thought what I would do would start with the um, traveler's notebook inserts first, um, and then go from there. So, the very first one I have here, it's called, I don't know if you can see that because I'm getting a glare here, but it's called Believe, and I made it with um, the Christmas paper pad that I bought from Recollections, and um, I really like the papers inside, but this is supposed to be like a cable knit sweater, I thought, so I thought that was cool. So, let me make sure I'm in frame. Inside, love this paper. And I remember when I was doing kind of like the flip through of the paper pad, I didn't know really how to cut it up because I didn't want to miss anything. But then the way this is, it actually doesn't look too bad. So, that's what it is. And then all the tags, again, are um, off cuts that I didn't want to throw away. I wanted to reuse them. So just like the last video of the two other Traveler's Notebooks that I did, these are very similar. Um, there is a lot of room for writing, um, a lot of room to add your own flair to it. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. The belly band there. Um, little cards there. Just the middle. <clears throat> cards here and here. Because I thought, well, my thought process behind, um, especially these Traveler's Notebook size ones, if you are putting it into a, um, you know, an actual Traveler's Notebook, um, it's usually, you know, to document and journal. So rather than me kind of stuffing everything in where it's going to be so big that it almost has to be alone in a Traveler's Notebook, I did it this way. That way the recipient can add what they want to add into it and not have to deal with the bulk that I put into it. So if they make it bulky, then that's fine because they're doing it with the stuff that they want to do it with. But um, I just wanted to kind of, you know, give the option. Love that paper. <clears throat> so that is Believe. And then, actually, you know what? Let me just tie this. Otherwise, I will forget. Not I will forget, but then I get lazy. I have to stop that. And again, these two, I'm, I'm just going kind of fast in it because you saw the other two also. So here's this one. And I actually think I named this one Merry Christmas Moose because here's the moose. I mean, I think it's a moose, not a reindeer. Then again, I don't know. But I called it Merry Christmas Moose. <laughs> So there's that, and let me be sure I'm in frame. I am, and I love this. This is awesome. So that, um, this was, I believe, one of the cutouts from the paper pad that I used. And just like the other one, very, very similar. Oh, and I forgot, and some of these I did stamping. I'm getting a little better at it. Um, sometimes I feel like I don't stamp in the right places, but you know what? It's a junk journal, so it really doesn't matter. There's that one. That's really pretty. And I think, um, I don't know if I said this before, but everything in all these little traveler's notebooks has been coffee dyed. Except for these types of like the cardstock papers, not really cardstock with the thicker pattern papers, those d have not been um, coffee dyed. But everything else has. See, on the back, you can see some. There's just some more. 
and then the back. So these are the very undecorated traveler's notebooks um, that are Christmas themed. Okay, so then let me show you the soft cover fabric. So this is fabric um, that is actually, I did the fabric on both sides and then there's cardstock in the middle. And there's the back of it. So, uh, am I in frame? Yes, I hope this isn't dark. Let me see. Come here, right here. If I can stay here, hopefully that'll be good. Um, so I've done, um, I cut out some little, these were on like a sheet of, I don't know when I, I it's probably recollections because that's usually what I use because I get them when they're on sale. But um, it was like pictures on an, a sheet and then I just cut out the little present. And then I cut, there was a strip left over and I just cut it into a little t um, arrow. But uh, this one has um, coffee dyed paper, paper that I've sprayed. And I tried to do it kind of like the red and green, but they sometimes they're a little bit brighter, but going with a Christmas theme. Um, and then the pattern paper. So a little pocket there, a little there, and then I sewed on some Rick Rack on the top there. Made another little arrow, and then another tag, and this one is kind of cool. This is a was a cutout from the paper pad, and says my wish list. Another little present that I cut out down there. Here's two little cutouts, and then this one has a big tag, and then a little little journaling tag. Here it says, I love winter. I personally don't. Um, oh, see, here's all the presents. And so I was cutting out the presents on uh, like a scrap that I had left over. I'm more of a hot weather person. I love the summer. I love the heat. I love the humidity. Cold, it hurts my bones. <laughs> it hurts me deep down inside. So I know that I have to go through it. It's one of the four seasons, but I'm kind of partial to hot weather. <clears throat> we have some little cutouts there, some little tags that I made, more of the presents, let it snow, please don't, no I'm just joking, <laughs> I know it will, but what can you do? And there's some tags that I made in that pocket, here this flips out for more journaling, and then I sewed this along the side there some little cutouts from that one and then let's see another corner pocket there made some tags um, again sewed some rickrack up there here's some more little and the nice thing about like little pieces like this or even like this if you want to you know use them on a page as a turn it into a pocket or a tuck spot that's also perfect for um, ephemera that you get in journals too and then that's so like you know what I mean like if you have this and you wanted to either glue it or sew it down here then it can be a tuck spot and then you know you made the tuck spot and then there it is there's frosty and then there's the back so this is the soft cover I think the soft cover Santa I don't know what I called it but obviously you know it has the picture so you'd be able to recognize it then I did sort of a larger version of that in a card cover. So we have, oh, and I don't even know if we can get it all in frame because it is kind of big. This one, it's nine by like six and a quarter. And the spine is about two and a quarters, I think. Um, so I don't know. Now I'm standing up just to see how much you can see. But it's that same um, fabric, and I ran rickrack all the way around. The back is plain, and then the spine has these little ruffly doodahs on them. 
And as you can see in this one, I left the strings. And of course, if you don't like it or if it looks too messy, you can always cut it off. It's not permanent. And this one has three signatures in it. And there's lots of like lace and fun stuff on the side that I put. And on the top, I have little tabs. These, they're like ribbon. It came on a roll as ribbon, but I just used them as a tab. So, oh my gosh, this is big. Maybe, well, no, I don't want to stop the video because, could I? No, I'll just try to maneuver. Um, so we have a little tuck spot here. The bottom I have some layering of different laces, some rickrack. Uh, here is some coffee dyed paper there. And then this one here has coffee dyed paper sewn on the back. And there's a little tag with that inside and it has um, coffee dyed paper on the back and then it just goes right back inside. Oops, that's not in far enough. There we go. And here is some more of that ribbon. I left it open because if you wanted you could tuck something there and then it opens for some more journaling. Here is a little tab on the top and then I just sewed because, I don't know, just to make it look nice. Little fringe on the bottom there. Another little pocket. So you can tuck here. This one has um, paper on the back and then paper on the back. And then another little tag. And this is like a little list, a little list tag. And here is a little gosh it's so big there we go little burlap a red burlap fabric tag there you know let me see if I can move up a little bit a little tip in with some of the material that I had left over here's a little flip up flip down and in the back there is um, some tags red lace little fabric ribbon tab up there, another little tag that fits in there, here we have journaling card, and I think all the journaling cards do have coffee dye paper sewn on the back, there's a little paper ruffle there, another tag in that one, little corner tuck that does flip up, there's a little bingo card, on the back is just some um, pattern paper. So that's the first signature. Second signature. Oh, oh, there we go. So here's a little paper ribbon and then that flips out. Some more coffee dyed paper there. Um, some stuff on the back. This is Jingle Bells. So this is actually part of a page, but I have the jingle bells all the way there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Some more little decoration on top. Oh joy, there's paper on the back of that and that one. Here is a little pocket, and in here we have some tags, and then the whole thing flips out, and lots of journaling there. A um, little tag there. Again, more there. And just like the others, lots and lots of writing space. And a little pocket on that side. And the brick rack again. So that's the second signature. And now the last signature here. And I didn't know if this was Christmassy, but it kind of reminded me of somewhat being Christmassy. But there's just that little bling ribbon and then some red burlap in the background. So I put it in. And this page flips open. Here's a little belly band. We've got a bingo card, a journaling card, which I think is upside down. I don't know which way it goes. And then some paper. And then that all goes right back inside.
I was trying to see if I could see my reflection. You can actually, there's this right here is my phone that I'm filming on. And this is the piece of wood that I have kind of <laughs> wedged onto my shelf and is holding my um, camera. <laughs> How funny. There's another journaling card, little tags on the inside. And I ran this little trim down there. It's really cute looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another little tip in. And here is a little um, tag. And then this one has, um, what am I trying to say? Coffee dye paper on the back. <clears throat> and here's another flip up, flip down for journaling and some writing spaces. And what's sewn on the back of this? Oh, coffee dye paper. And this will flip out there. And here's some big tags, um, a little ribbon down there. With that, there's some little rib, uh, not little ribbons, little cards down here. We have those, and there is the back. So that is the bigger version of that small one. And now my last one is this one. And this one came out really, really cute. Um, the fabric that I used for the cover and the little gingerbread men and some other stuff inside like the, the jingle bells, I all got from my friend Danny. She sent me a Happy Mail. And I absolutely loved the way this cover came out because it's so cute, the gingerbread man. And then I have a lot of... Jingle bells, and then jingle bells on the spine, and then I ran this on the spine too. And this one here measures eight and three quarters by about six. And I think it's a one and three fourth inch spine, yep. And let me just make it back up into frame. And it does have the <clears throat> metal book corners on all four corners. So on the inside here, she also sent me this. It's like a little die cut, but it almost looks like it could be like a nameplate or something. You could put a date or a name or something here. So I left it blank and the beginning of the journal. And then the kit that I used for this was, oh my gosh, who did I use? I think it's Artie Mays. Um, or, hmm. Who did I use? Yeah, I think it is Artie Mays. And if I'm wrong, you know what? Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Yes, it is Artie Mays and it's the Christmas Hybrid Journal Kit. But it's really cool and I love the colors of it. So um, this one says, a Merry Christmas to you. And then her kits come with pockets also and lots of different ephemera. I put some red lace on that. This one is like a little notebook. Um, I do have, so all the red lace does have a little jingle bell on it and it's attached with a little bulb pin. There's another spot. And this kit also that she had, a lot of it has some writing lines, which is perfect. And here is a little envelope with this inside just for some journaling and then these two and I think some of these um, images are not already made some of them I believe I got from my ephemera pile I think and here's Jingle Bells and We Three Kings. Another little Jingle Bell there. Um, here we have Oh Holy Night and uh, a card. And a little dirt bike goes by. And he's going to be going back and forth because this kid, I don't know why, it's freezing outside. But he'll ride his dirt bike back and forth and back and forth. So if you hear it, it's him. Another little pocket, those inside. Here's 
here is the middle which it had to be the middle because here's the the little words and I couldn't see just having one on one side and one on the other side I wanted to see the whole page all together so that was the middle one here is another little envelope and it has some coffee dyed paper on the inside and another pocket plenty of room for writing here some more little journaling cards, a little jingle bell, the back side of the, um, that paper, the music, another little pocket there with some more little journaling cards. Here is another envelope, and I don't know what was inside here. Oh, just some more um, coffee dyed paper. I thought I put something different in there, but no. I love those clips. I really need to get some more. I know I said that in a previous video, but I really like them. And then more jingle bells. This I put in here. And again, just some regular off cuts of coffee dyed paper that, you know, and I, I put this with a clip because if you didn't want to keep it in a pocket, you could clip it wherever you wanted to. And now my favorite part of this book is on the next page. Look at this. So the little jingle bells that's held here was a ribbon and um, I wanted to kind of incorporate well because it's the only red ribbon that I had so I wanted to somehow use it in this book and I thought of this idea right here so I glued it down and then I glued all these vintage buttons over it because they fit perfectly and I think that looks really really cool <laughs> yeah I like the way it came out so Here's some more journaling cards, more jingle bells, and this is actually the same um, as the one in the previous signature, so I don't have to take um, each and every one out, because it basically repeats itself, just the images here are different. And this is another little blank booklet you can write inside. little journaling spots there again this jingle bells with the we three kings on the back and here is the middle of this one and again I had to use these ones as the middle because I couldn't see folding them and only seeing this part on one side and this part on the other side because then it kind of doesn't really make sense like it does but it doesn't so I love this as the middle so it's Merry Christmas joy to the world decorate a Christmas tree play in the snow sing Christmas carols build a snowman with your friends and forgive everyone for everything. So, love that. Another little pocket. Here's December. Jingle, jingle. And I love kind of carrying this one around because it does jingle. We have the little ephemera pieces in there and here. And her kit is very like vintagey and those like kind of. I don't know how to describe it because the colors, they're not bold and bright. They're sort of muted, but vintagey. And this is my favorite type of kit. I love it. Love, love, love it. Here's another envelope and it will have some coffee dyed paper inside. And jingle, jingle, jingle. And some more little ephemera pieces. And then the back and look at the Christmas tree right there. Well. It could be a Christmas tree, but it looks like it's still out in the wild. So, and then the back is just plain. So those are my five um, Christmas themed journals. So we have the two hardcover ones, the fabric cover one, and then the two traveler's notebooks. So again, I will be putting a link to my shop below if you're interested in any of them. And this video is getting kind of lengthy, but I wanted to come back with one more video of something I'm working on. Um, but I think it's coming out really kind of cool and I just wanted to share it. So I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.